Hello everyone, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network on my 49324 here on YouTube and welcome to the first episode of the Brandon Washington Connected Career Series here at Madden 13. If you guys didn't see the announcement video, I brought Brandon Washington back from the depths after a more than four month hiatus to begin his series on this cha on the Mike 49324 channel. And he got drafted to the Phil- I think he got drafted. Let's take a look at the news feed here. Uh, Brandon Washington is ready to go. Washington, Brandon Wichita went to the Philadelphia Eagles. Here, so as we get ready for a practice, as we get ready to hit, hit the Philadelphia, head to the stadium here. So we're going to start off with an easy win here for Brandon here. Which, don't worry, some coach, some, and here's what I've been thinking. Each coaching carousel character, either on the mic from LA1 channel or mic49324 channel, if I think they're popular enough with, with, with you, the Mike from LA One Nation, then, well, they're going to get their own spin-off series. That's like Braylon Bird got. So here we go. The first actual episode. It's ready to go. And we're going to start off with the ISO to see what has been, what has been, Brandon been up to since the last time we saw him. And boy, he has hasn't changed a bit. And here we go, guys. Let's take a look at Brandon Washington in this his new uniform here. Here, so. So actually, this uniform hex actually works a lot better compared to last year's. Yeah, well, last year's is actually fine, the new ones, but he's nice to get a chance to see how Brandon interacts with Michael Vick. So here we go, we got the mesh here, so Brandon has a lot to work for here. And he gives it to... A van, but actually, it's gonna be a. Don't worry, Eagles fans. It's gonna be a while for me to get this guy's name, so you're going to have to forgive me here. So here we go. Brandon gets a chance to show what he's made of in this one here, and there you see Brandon, and he failed. So third and three. So we're gonna do a halfback toss here to see how things go for Brandon. And there he is, and once again, he didn't do it. So they're going to go for it via rush from Brandon Washington. So we have a three-point lead here, though. Here we go. It's Brandon Washington makes a move, and, and actually he did a good job, and the 52 nearly tripped himself. That's, that's what you got to love when you play with the Affinity Engine, which is coming to NCAA 14. So that means we're going to get more comedy. Huzzah. And there you see Brandon Washington hasn't missed a beat since the Las Vegas Bowl when I was the offensive coordinator for Hawaii. So not a bad showing from Mr. Washington. So here we go. We got a mid draw here. So there you see Brandon Washington. Oh, Ooh, he lost three. And they call the timeout here, so here we go, we got a draw here. So here we go, Brandon Washington trying to make it through it. Ooh, and ooh, spear! And he lost a lot of yards and another timeout. So it is 20 to 10, so here we go, we got a kickoff return here. So here's the kick, and let's see where Brandon's getting Oh, he's not getting it. Instead, it's going to be Jackson. Actually, I kind of forgot his name. I actually forgot his name. I 
I actually forgot his name. That's really embarrassing. Oh, man, I forgot his name. So here we go, Brandon. Trying to get through to the first down. No, he couldn't. So here we go, power zero here. Oh, Vincent Jack. No, it's not Vincent Jackson. No, it isn't. Well, there you see, there you see, Brandon, he got it. Oh, it's Trevon Jackson. Okay, no, 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 no. Well, I gotta look that up before we get to the game. I do apologize. It's been a while since I, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen the Eagles. And speaking of Eagles, Brandon is soaring like an eagle. Touchdown, Philly. And take a look at that. The, the defense the defense screwed up, so just like that, Brandon Washington gets a shot here and look at this. Oh, and he did that on purpose. So so far so good for Brandon Washington. And uh oh. And um uh, speaking of tough plays here. So here we go, Michael Vick harbors the man in motion here as Brandon Washington gives it the Selick, and there's a first and goal. So here we go, we're gonna go dive here. So here we go, Brandon Washington trying to run in it. No, he failed. One yard short. So here we go, power zero. So here we go, and wait, was that guy's last name Bischoff? Hang on. Hold the phone. Do we have a bitch off? Seriously, is our tight end name bitch off? Oh, whoops. Wait. Oh, I see you got. Oh, that's so like. Um, excuse me. Oh, it's bracket. Although it do, it said it looked like fish off for a split second, and that's the end of the third quarter of this practice scenario. And there's Mac Jeremy Macklin, the Olympic skier. So oh, here we go. As there you see Brandon, and he failed. Dun 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 dun. So we're gonna go for it here. So here we go. Here we go with this play. So here we go, Vic. We'll give it to Washington, and there's the touchdown for the Eagles. So just like that, Brandon Washington and the Philadelphia Eagles are getting ready here. And actually, this is a series. I've been actually been I've been dying. And actually, many people of you guys have been asking me via Twitter. <coughs> Excuse me. Has been asking me on Twitter, why did I choose Philadelphia for Brandon? Well, here's the thing. I have been dying to do a Philadelphia Eagles series for the longest time. Well, because, well, because, well, I think Philly, Philadelphia is a really passionate sports town, and yet none of my characters land in Philly. Because, well, because for one thing, I didn't want anyone to go to the Phillies, but now in 2K13, that's fine. So there's Brandon Washington with another touchdown, speak of the devil. How many yards? 67. So yeah, and also, the Eagles home field, which I think is one of the best in the NFL, Lincoln Financial Field, which I will show that stadium off a bit in a bit of the episode. But first I have to figure out who that wide receiver's name is. Jackson's name. So here we go. There, here we go. There's Brandon Washington, and look at this. Ooh, oh, he nearly got he got tripped up, and it cost him. But a valiant run right there. So 30 seconds left in the scenario. There's no doubt about it. The ex the experience points will be going to Brandon. And there you see him right there, and a whoop. And he nearly, well, he nearly got him. Still, well done. So 10 seconds left. So can Brandon somehow get one more touchdown? And 
Nope. Not quite, but what the? For some reason, they call a timeout. Seriously? Oh, just to give the, the practice squad the, uh, the showing of respect. And speaking of disrespect, his team, he got knocked over by his own teammate. Yeah, he got knocked over by his own teammate. Yeah, how's that going to work later? And also, the dynasties in NCAA 12 and 13 will be updated tonight as well. So, here we go. So, there you see. As we on to our. Before we head on to our game against the Steelers, now it's time to figure out who that guy's name is. As if you guys haven't saw. There you see the roster. Here you see the. There's the quarterback roster. There's Vic. There's Kafka. Kafka. There's Trent Edwards. And there's Nick Foles, who started last season. So there you see. There's LaShawn McCoy. Brandon Washington. Dion Lewis. Bryce Brown, they brought in. And Chris Polk. Now the fullback. This is Stanley Haville from USC. The wide receivers. Oh, it's Deshaun Jackson. Uh, there we go. Uh, Really went to California. There's Jerry McLean. Oh, that's not the Olympic skier. Whoops. Jason Avant, Demaris Johnson, Chad Hall, Marty Gillard, y Gilliard, Marvin McNutt. Now the tight end, we got Brett Silic, Clay Harbor, Brett Brackett, and John Donobos. And, and the defense needs a lot of work here. So we got we we have oh, some more. And our kick free safeties. And here's our kicker. But it's going to be hard to tell. As we take a look at the injury report here, as you can see, we're going to take a look at this for a while, though. So, yeah. So as we take a look at the all NFL. Seriously, there's no all NFL option? What? That's kind of dumb, but okay. So, as we take a look here. If you take a look at the team's salaries, as as you can see, years remaining, Cole has a lot of money on his contract. As we take a look at Vic, he has four years left. But here's he, Brandon Washington. He will be at in the, the op, he'll be with Philadelphia for at least at least three years, at the very least, along with. As we take a look, he is owed a million dollars. No bonuses just yet, so don't worry. We'll, we are going to continue both series on my... No, we're not leaving. We have a game to play. So here we go. Steelers versus the Eagles. Now as we take a look at the... As we take a look at the edit uniforms option here, as we gotta, I got to show all these off. We got the home... We got the home, we got the away, we got the all green this year, we got last year's, this year's all white, we got the vintage, and of course we got last year's uniform sets. But for this one, oh we got the 1930s one too. Don't worry, we are going to wear those this, in this one. We also got the alternate all green, alternate all white, but for this one, Oh, we also got the vintage 1960s. And you know what? Because everybody in the NFL is going retro, we're going with this one. We're going with the 1960s. We're going with the 1960s outfit this time. Don't worry, next game we are going to go. We're going to go home again, I guess. We're wearing the home jerseys, unless it's a road game. So here we go. It's time for some Eagles football. So here we go, Philadelphia. I know what I don't want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on Madden 25? Hopefully they can actually improve what they did in this one. And here we go, and love those jerseys. Hopefully they can top what they did with this one. Hello, friends. Jeff here. 
Jim Nance along with Bill Sims just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza. And this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more Here in Philadelphia. So let's make Brandon's whole debut very special here against the Philadelphia Eagles. For the, as a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. Also, the bad news is he'll be taking on They see Deshaun Jackson, and uh, here we go. Super Bowl trophies they have, six of them. And the Philadelphia Eagles still looking for their first one. So we know how the Eagles... I think Brandon can help with that. They want to take it over, and they want to get good enough so they have a chance to... <laughs> Excuse me. So here we go, kickoff return here. For here we go, and we are underway as Brandon's going to receive it here, and here we go. And there you see him, and look at that. Oh, well, good job. Great job, Brandon. So as we're going to send the human control play here, as you can see. Oh. Now this will probably be give me the... Uh, you're kidding me. Okay, we're going to go for the field goal here as... What, I get to control it? Sweet, that means I get to have the right to do this. And, it, and it's up, and it is good. Now it is time to read it. You're kidding me, right? I can't sim. You're kidding me. I can't. Oh, I guess we can't scan the stadium just yet. Sorry, folks. And there you see Deshaun Jackson, and there's a first and ten right there to kick things off. And now we finally get an opportunity, and now we don't get it. We don't get a chance. So now it is time to see how Brandon does. In his first preseason game in Philadelphia, and there's Kafka, not not by Nick Foles, and wow, he, oh look at that, very impressive touchdown, Eagles! By what a touchdown by Brandon Washington, and the teammates are happy that he got it first rushing play, and it ends up in a touchdown. And it ends up being a touchdown. And it's against the team that won the most Super Bowls. How ironic is that? So just like that, it is 13 to 10. Uh-oh, field goal block. You're, you're kidding me, right? About this no semi thing. So it is 14-10 Pittsburgh, and don't forget on my Mike from LA1 channel, John Turkey's on this team. So, better get used to that. And here we go, and there's Hall. Hall, and ooh! So here we go, we're going to start with a lead draw here, and hopefully we can see how, how much Brandon can improve off of this. So, let's see how Brandon's going to do here, and... Oh, here we go, Hall. Yes, here we go. And there you see Brandon Washington. Brandon, wow, he's doing good. And there's a second and three. So now can we get the scan, scan here? There, jeez. Now I get to scan the stadium. Jeez. So as there you see, there you see the stadium in which, now you know why I say I love, I like the stadium. I mean, sure, right there. There's right here. By the way, love this little thing right here. Take a look. Believe it or not, that's the Wachovia Center right there. Oh, not Wachovia Center. The Wells Fargo Center. Blech. Excuse me. Now, if I if if all things is correct, and somewhere right over here behind this jumbotron is. Citizens Bank Park, home of the Phillies. And also, take a look at this. I love that balcony right there. Because that is so cool. They actually have graphic uh, a wraparound on the staircase. That is amazing. Now, let's see if we can find any 27 jerseys for Brandon. Oh, yeah. No, but we do have a 26 right there. 20, oh, it's at 25, so we're getting close. 25, 7, 25, 7. Well, no 27 jerseys yet, but he's that touchdown pretty much sent a statement to the Philadelphia fans. So here we go, halfback slam here. 
So here we go, Brandon got him back here, and wow, the de the defense got him there. So I guess they, I guess uh, Coach Tomlin is showing what they got here. So right now, four for five are the Eagles, and there's the two minute warning. So here we go, another mid draw on the way for Brandon. So here we go, Brandon trying to make it move here, and look at this. Whoop! And look at that, a huge game for Brandon Washington. And boy, has Ben Roethlisberger saying, what the heck's going on? Why aren't we getting that kid? And what the hell is a blue wahoo? Okay, no, he didn't say that. So here we go, another rushy play here. And there you see it, and whoa, he is faking out everybody. And now the Steelers defense finally stopped him there. And look at everybody's falling over each other. Oh my god, that is downright funny. I love the Affinity Engine. So here we go, and there you see Brandon Washington. Oh, so close. But James Harrison and his, bro and his bronies got him. So now Coach Andy Reid, who is not coaching, which is supposed to be Chip Kelly now in real life, is doing there. And there's Brandon Washington and another touchdown for the Eagles. Well done, sir. And the Eagles are really starting to think that Brandon Washington is the future of the franchise. So here we go. It is 17-14. And now it's here come the Eagle and here come the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right here, and there you see Charlie Batch, and there's another touch, and the field goal is good. So here we go, Boykin. So the kickoff is, and here's the kick here, and here we go, as Brandon will retrieve it. So here we go, as there you see Brandon, and, ooh, got to tackle down. Wait, is that Troy? Oh, what? that's a special moment. For the first time in his career, he's got, he got tackled by Troy Palomalu. So here we go, here is Brandon Washington, Kafka gives it to Brandon, as Washington trying to make a move here, and he got tackled, there in it, 132 yards and 8 rushes. So here you go, Kafka gives it to Brandon Washington again. Wash it, Brandon. Ooh, he got hit in the crotch. So here we go, 225 left to go, and this is a, a tough contest here. So there you see Brandon, and once again, as Brandon got through. Oh, no, not quite. He couldn't quite get it. And look at everybody falling over each other. Oh, my God, that is so downright funny. And don't worry, folks, I will be going back to my New Orleans Saints Connected career soon. I've been too gaga to get busy. I keep constantly forgetting. So the red zone is... We're 100% in the red zone. So here we go, Brandon Washington making it through everybody, and he's going to... Oh, so close, but not quite. Close, but... No cigar. So right now, Brandon Washington is the reason why the Eagles are in this game. And there's another touchdown for Brandon Washington. And James Harrison is ticked off that Brandon Washington scores again. And they are, as Coach Reed is liking what he's seeing from Brandon Washington. He learned a lot from me in Hawaii. And now he has taken it to the NFL. And wow, wow! What do you know that the offense for the Pits are for Pittsburgh finally croaked and finally choked. So there you see Brandon and Washington. And wow! Look at that and a huge goal right there. And it's the first to go. And if he went one more yard, he would have gotten 200 yards. So at the end of the third quarter, the Eagles lead the, the Steelers 24-21.
Uh, don't you mean five minutes ago? Nance, jeez. So here we go. The final quarter of play here. So here we go. It's Brandon Washington trying to it. Nope. Not quite. And, and so far, nobody's falling over each other, thankfully. So here we go. Another halfback dive right here. So here we go. And there you see. There you see Brandon. And once again, two yards. Yeah, thanks, Verizon. So here we go. Is there you see Brandon? Makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Oh, man. And the Eagles extend the lead to a differential of 10. And once again, the, the Steelers' offense is really starting to choke up here. So... At this point right now, the Steelers realize that they kept it close, but not to go. Ooh! Ooh! That has to hurt, though. So here we go. Another halfback blast here. It's Kafka. We'll have to well, That's Here we go. Kafka gives it to Brandon Washington. Gets to it. Distracts all the Steelers. And there's another touchdown for the Eagles. So a huge lead right there. And wow, it's really starting to get, now things are really starting to get out of hand. It's over. And well, that was probably one of his worst rushes. So it is now nearly just about over here, here in Philadelphia. Ooh, flag. Thank you. And we're going to go first. We're going to give up to the 10-yard line. And thus, Pittsburgh is good as... Thanks to that penalty, Pittsburgh is good as screwed. And there you see Brandon Wash. He did it. Ooh! Ooh! A belly flop. And now, just like that, they stopped him. So, the, 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 all the league knows now that you have to take a belly flop in order to stop Brandon Washington. So here we go, Kafka gives it to Brandon, and there's a touchdown, another touchdown, and this game is good as over. I just said that. And that is it, the Eagles crush the Steelers, 44-21. So that was a very big tough come from behind victory for the Philadelphia Eagles as Brandon Washington was uh, was the huge impact for the Philadelphia Eagles in his first preseason game with the club. And speaking of that, Brandon Washington is your player of the game. Congratulations, Brandon Washington. And there you see Michael Vick and his teammates celebrate after a job well done. So at the final score, the Eagles crush the Steelers, 44-21. So now let's... Darn straight there. So here we go. So as we get set to go, Brandon Washington is the missing piece of the, deep, the, the future of the Philadelphia Eagles. So with that, I think that should just about do it for this episode here. As you can see, as we take a look here, is that... So far, not much yet, as kudos all around, but he didn't credit Brandon, so that's huge, though. So he got the things he wanted, two rushing touchdowns here, so as we advance the week, as we advance the week here, so as we advance the week here, for Brandon Washington and his connected career, as we are going to see how far he will go to become the starting running back for the Philadelphia Eagles. So on to the next game against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium. That's going to be a good one, guys. Come back for that, guys, in the next episode. Half hour.